All right. Whoa, whoa. It's so good. It really isn't. You know, if you've if you've read Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns or Year One, The Dark Knight looks like uh, stupid. It's basically just a Daredevil. You know, because he comes up with that weirdo technology that allows him to see through cell phone transmissions. That's how Daredevil sees, you know, pretty much. You know, and then he's got so much armor that he's basically like Iron Man, but he can't fly and he has no repulsor rays. That's not really, that's not too accurate, guys. So, like, but but he is a lot like Daredevil with his, you know, uh, you know, sonar vision. So, Dark Knight, woo! And then the next one is called... Dark Knight Rises, right? Where he fights Bane. Who gives a fuck about Bane? Bane is like... like I, I didn't even read those comics because... And then like Bane breaks Bat, Batman's back and like... You know? Like, you re like, like I've got a direction that I could take the Batman movies in. Like perpetually. You know? And uh, my interpretation of why the Joker is the Joker, is this, all right? So the Joker is some guy that, uh, that starts smoking weed, and then he figu like he gets to a point where the spirit world comes in and locks him down, right? And he's like, oh, that's garbage. You know, since he's a, he's a, he's a very uh, animated and... Uh, and, uh, I guess, uh, trickster-like character, he's able to, like, Loki his way out of a lot of the spirit world trash, right? And he figures out a lot of stuff about the universe, right? And, you know, he's, he's smoking weed, and he's, uh, he's fig and he's, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, exist in the world as, like, you know, a comedian or whatever, but then, like, nobody hires him. Because, like, he's beyond them, and they're like, oh, we're not going to hire you. We're going to try and show that we're more powerful than you because, because we control the jobs that you want. So he's an out-of-work comedian performer who's beaten a lot of, like, uh, the spirit world trash that would enslave him because, you know, he's smoking weed and, you know, figuring out a lot of stuff, and the spirit world's trying to, like, hinder him, you know, trying to prevent him from figuring out a lot of stuff. But then he gets to a point where he realizes that a shitload, like most of the people out there in the world, are just pretending that they don't have mind powers and that they aren't using their terminals to try and pollute his, to, to try and control him and pollute his terminal with their trash. So the deal is, is that the Joker kills people like we'll say the joker comes into a bank right and he he feels that all of these people know that when that when they die or that if they die they'll just respawn in the dream world and so the joker is like kind of misled into thinking that every everyone out there is just pretending not to have their mind powers. You know, they're all they're all psychic vampires, he thinks. And so he just kills indiscriminately because, you know, bank teller is like, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. And he's like, you know, he knows the secret and he thinks that they know the secret too and they're just trying to pretend like, you know, they believe in the fallacy of a finite existence. And he's just like, boom! Ha 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 ha! Oh, she's dead forever, everyone! You know? And so the Joker's like, ha 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 ha! You know, and Batman's like, what is he doing? Right? You know, Joker's just like, oh, uh, life is such a gas, isn't it? And he's like, gases everyone, they all die, and he's like, oh, they're gone! You know, oh, oh, rest in peace, everyone! You know, like he, it's, he's gone! You know, the Joker just thinks that everyone doesn't know, right? Or, or that everyone is in on it, right? And it's all just a prank on him. And so he's getting them by killing them all. And just like, you know, robbing banks so that he can buy weed. Or, you know, buy more uh, lights 
or, or buy more houses so that he can grow more weed, right? So the Joker is just a huge weed fiend, and he just kills indiscriminately because fuck everyone. You know, they're all out there pretending not to know the shit that they know, and so fuck them. You know, they're just like uh, fucking video game uh, nothings. You know, it's like playing uh, GTA 4, you know? And just like, oh, you can just start blowing people away in that game. Ah! Everyone freaks out. You just get in your car, drive away. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that, you know, none of this shit is going to happen in real life, you know, nowadays, because I run this shit. All right? But you're all, you're all, you all might be thinking like, uh, everyone is pretending not to know the shit that they know, right? How long do they think they can do that? What with me being around and all, you know, these videos aren't nothing, right? These videos aren't nothing. And guess what? Uh, about 10 years ago or so, this movie came out called The Matrix, all right? That shit is still out there, available on DVD and Blu-ray. Yeah, people are going to watch that and like, you know, are they going to go Joker on everyone? Because that shit, like, you know, makes sense to some people. Like some people will just blow people away because who cares? Like the, uh, the DC sniper, who's really the Montgomery County snipers, snipers, you know, they just blew people away. They just want to say, oh, ba boom, oh, their heads exploded. You know, because they were, they're demented, you know? I know what you're saying. Whoa, whoa, DC Sniper, Greg. Maybe they were coming after you. Ah, uh, well, I hadn't really surpassed, like, Fiona Apple until, like, 2004. So, like, hmm, doesn't make sense. It doesn't, doesn't pan out, so. But, like, you know, people watch The Matrix and they're like, oh, everyone out there is, like, you know, just pretending, you know, the, the, you know, everyone, uh, you know, shifts into vanilla sky psych out mode. And it's like, you know, but because I'm here with my operators, uh, no one's going to go completely joker and, you know, start blowing people away, you know, uh, you know, because they're all, they're all fakers. They all know, you know, like in my, in my Batman, uh, screenplay, you know, Batman's like, why are you doing this? And Joker just tells him straight up, like, they all know, Batman. They all know, you know? And Batman is like, you know, he's compelled because, like, Joker is like, you know, he's super intelligent. And he's like, you know, he's right up there with Batman as, like, number one, you know? Batman, number one hero. Joker, number one villain. And it's basically just like, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Luke Skywalker, really. Well, we'll say Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, you know? Ultimate good versus ultimate evil, you know? They both know all of this shit. It's just that Batman understands that, like, a lot of people don't know and are just, you know, living in this lie world, as I was. So, you know, Joker figures all this shit out and he guesses wrong, and says that everyone's just pretending. And Batman is like, no, because I didn't know. You know, I, I didn't know that, you know, everyone goes into the dream world when they die. And I, I didn't know that, uh, you know, uh, there are people out there that know. But those people are just out there, you know. We have to, we have to like, just do what we're doing. You know, so like my Batman continuity eventually goes to, like, uh, you know, the dream world level, where, like, Bruce Wayne is, like, you know, working with the Joker to, like, defeat all of the psychic vampire trash of the universe. Uh, this is after the Joker dies. So my, my Batman continuity could potentially uh, intersect with Frank Miller's but, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, a reinterpretation of Frank Miller's Batman with, like, that, that uh, 
that actuality underpinning. So like, like I could technically, I could, I know Frank Miller's going to cry on his pillow when he hears this, but like, I could direct year one and then do my Batman uh, arc, you know, where I do, I, I cover Joker, Two-Face, uh, Penguin, uh, Catwoman, Riddler, and, and then, you know, like, I, I would probably do this. I would do year one, then Dark Knight Returns, then go back and do, like, Joker origin and, uh, you know, Two-Face origin and Catwoman origin, and then just, you know, have all of them just, like, sparring, you know, while they're all trying to just get, get enough money to get enough weed to, like, you know, enjoy themselves, you know? And, like, uh, you know, that's my Batman continuity. Joker is a weed fiend who figures out everything, but then, like, uh, uh, misdiagnoses and, and just thinks that everyone knows and that it's all just some Vanilla Sky uh, psych job on him. Uh, and he decides to play the game and try to get as popular as Batman because it's all about popularity, you know? And he's like, ah, I can outdo him, you know? I'll just gas everyone and then, like, film it and put it on YouTube, you know? Here it is, you know, 75 million hits. Ha 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 ha, I'm so popular, you know? You know, Bruce Wayne, what the fuck is he doing, you know? So, uh, Batman, you know? It would, it would be called Batman? Hold on. Batman. Number one. <laughs> you know? And my movies would just be numbered. You know? Number two. <laughs> Batman. Hey, are you guys going to see Batman uh, number three? <laughs> you know? Or, you know, I'd probably... I wouldn't call them issues. I might call them issues. You know? Issue... Issue two. You know? Issue 25. You know? You guys going to see issue 25? Yes, Batman issue 25. You yeah. know? Makes a lot of sense, guys. Next. All right, so... Let's see. The Matrix is available still on DVD and uh, Blu-ray. They haven't pulled it from the shelves yet, you know? Um, let's see. More cultural entropy. I'm going to check the runtime on this really quick. Six minutes. Woo! All right, so I've got about six, six to eight more minutes on this uh, tape here. So let's see. What can I do really quick here? All right, so actors, you know, Christian Bale, are acting in shitty movies that only cover about 40% of what's going on in the universe, you know. Oh, nobody knows what happens to us when we die. Plenty of people know. They just try to, they just pretend that they don't, right? Um, oh, uh, what's the deal with infinite space? That's weird. Oh, there might be life on other planets, you know? Well, there is, and we, and we are it. So, you know, nobody's covering the fact that I've published all of this on YouTube, and so I don't exist in any of these fucking projects. You know, like fuck buddies or uh, friends with benefits is going to come out or like the, the sad thing is, is that when I saw like a trailer for friends with benefits, I thought that it was already on video because, <laughs> because I was like, oh, that came out and it sucked and it's already on video now. It isn't, you know, so like, you know, it, it's, it's weird because like Justin Timberlake is basically like the, uh, you know, He's kind of like a watered-down Ryan Phillippe. You know? It's like, why not put Ryan Phillippe in that movie? He's, he's an actual actor. Uh, we want to put Justin Timberlake in it. Woo! All right. Put Justin Timberlake. Why don't you put uh, Justin Bieber opposite, like, uh, you know, Elle Fanning in a movie called, uh, you know, uh, let's see. What would that be called? And here, I would do that. I would, I would have, like, Justin Bieber and Elle Fanning in a movie, right? And they're fucking, right? It, it's like she's, like, 14 or she's, like, 13. And he's, like, you know, 16. And, like, you know, Justin Bieber has, like, the this, like, helmet head thing happening with the, like, you know, 
the, the like most ob obnoxious little kid haircut in existence.